I guess we're ready. Is it recording? Yes, it's recording. <laughs> I don't need this microphone. It's not really plugged in. He just likes to play with the microphone because I've got him in the studio. <laughs> what story was talking about? We're talking about wart removal. <laughs> uh, another valuable lesson I learned on my mission. How to remove wart. <laughs> You know, when you get to Argentina, the last thing you want to do is actually have to go to a doctor. We went to some hospitals sometime, a couple times, and just talking to some of the people down there, you don't want to get sick, you don't want to spend any time in the doctors. But um, every, what was it, every three months, every six months, we had our missionary conferences. We'd get together, all the missionaries, they'd come talk to you. It's a whole day event, you know. And... Uh, mm -hmm. must be snots. It's probably snots. And uh, we get together for a whole day and you know as, as a young man that can get kind of boring. You get so you you know you're taking notes and you can only take so many notes. I often heard it said the brain can only take in as much as the ass can withstand <laughs> and so you start you know you, you, your mind starts to wander. But it was a good opportunity to do some um, medical procedures on oneself. <laughs> while, <laughs> while you were sitting there waiting and I had I had a few warts that had come in and and so just sitting there out of boredom I'm sitting there pinching this wart you know just boom you know and all of a sudden it blisters up and I'm thinking well that you know okay I've, I've pinched it enough that I've actually blistered underneath of the wart under the roots and so now is all is left to do <laughs> is just to rip that sucker off right so you know the day's going on and so you just start picking at it and before long you actually pull this wart off and I, I actually managed to successfully remove quite a few warts that way. Yet again, his companions are probably scarred for life by watching him. <laughs> I was like, this guy's crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, I never, I never practiced malpractice. I didn't, I didn't ever <laughs> during the mission field. I didn't try to practice medicine on anybody. Uh, I guess other than the uh, hemorrhoid, but that's not really practicing medicine. That was more of a observation, a observation. observation and assessment. <laughs> Uh, unwilling observation. <laughs> anyway, so here it is. A couple of years later, I'm back home. Um, I'm back. I'm, I'm between, working construction. I was working construction. I was between uh, f football, so it was. I was working back home, and I was working with a guy named Lumpy. Now, I don't know why I got the name nickname Lumpy, but that you know, if it was me, I wouldn't stick with it. But hey, it worked for him. And so Lumpy, we're sitting on our lunch break. And Lumpy's got a great big wart on his hand. I don't remember if it was on the back of his hand or on his finger. But uh, we're sitting there and chit-chatting, you know, as, as you do at lunch. And I says, you know, Lumpy, <laughs> I know how to get that wart off if you want. And you don't have to go to the doctor. <laughs> and he's like, really? It's kind of been bugging me, you know. And so he go, I go, okay, so what you got to do is you got to pinch it. And so he's sitting there pinching it, you know, and you can, you can see it's hurting. Because it's not a pleasant thing, you know. There's no anesthetic or anything like that. And so he's pinching away at this this wart, and uh, I says you got to get a good blister underneath it. You got to really get it, cause you you know you gotta you gotta get under the roots of that that wart. And so he's pinching away and pinching away, and then uh, and then he says, now what do I do? I says, well, now you got to grip it and rip it, lumpy. Yeah, so <laughs> so he, yeah, at this point, you know you can some people get. A he's little, wishing he'd never started this yeah, process. Yeah, at this point, he's probably thinking, oh my gosh, this guy's crazy. Um, but he kept going forward. I think he had enough faith in me that he was willing there was to give it a shot. first mistake. <laughs> so notice the evil laugh. <laughs> so he, some people might get a little squeamish when it comes to ripping something off of your own body. You know, I mean, it it, it takes a little bit. Uh, it, it, you have to be in the right mindset, I guess. Anyway, so. So he's having a little trouble with it, right? And he's, I says, you know, Lumpy, got to get a good grip on it before you just rip it off. And so he comes up with these pliers. He pulls his pliers out, and um, he tries to grab it a couple times, you know, and it and it does that slip off thing, you know, as you yank and it, and that hurts worse. Cause it's like, <laughs> so he's, you know, he, the guy's about the point of tears, right? So I says, Lumpy. You can't, you got to get a good grip on it because you, you don't want it slipping off, right? And so he gets those pliers and he gets, and, it, and the problem with pliers is you can oftentimes get a little more than what you wanted. 
<laughs> and he got a good hard grip on that thing. And he pulls that off. And he just, he started crying. <laughs> I, the whole time, I was laughing so hard, I could hardly breathe. And I'm, so I'm trying to give him these instructions. And uh, it, without passing out from lack of oxygen, laughing the whole time. He's crying. He's still trying to pull the ward off. You know, looking back, I don't think we ever removed it. But I ran into him, what was it, actually within this last year. So uh, years later, ran into him. He's there 20 his, years 20 years later, later, he's there with his kids. And he remembers me from the wart removal. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see that you can traumatize people enough in their life that they'll remember you. But he's, and he's like telling his little boy about, you know, don't listen to this guy when it comes time for <laughs> But I, oh, I laughed so hard, and uh, we went through our whole lunch break. I was just laughing, and he, I said, "Hey, Lumpy, you wanted me to give it a try, you know?" And he just, I don't, I don't think he ever let me try, but he kept trying, and he just, with tears were coming. It was pretty painful. I don't recommend it. I think what makes it easier to remove a ward on your own is if you've already sat through like six hours of boring meetings. <laughs> then, then everything is already numb. You know, if you're just trying to do it in a lunch break, it's awfully hard because. You only got 30 minutes and you know but and actually just recently I just did that again another wart removal there he's crazy and uh, this one I just cut off with the big knife see yet another use for the big knife we'll so have to make a video wart. showing you all the things he uses the big knife for because he's crazy if you want to remove a wart you got to get under the root and the only way to do it is to pinch the crap out of that sucker till it blisters up okay as his wife I'm telling you all don't do this and then just pinch it and rip it. Don't guys. try this at home. <laughs> Your skin will grow back. There may be a, a tear shed one or day. I don't anymore. I, I'm used to getting cut and just keep on working. No big deal. But poor Lumpy, I, I, I would say I apologize, but it's still too funny. And, uh, you know, he, he, was, he volunteered. I didn't force him to do it. That's the least he's laughed telling that story. Usually he's laughing so hard he's crying. Well, if Lumpy was here, we could all have a good laugh. <laughs> Anyway, that's how you remove a wart. Maybe if this one comes back, we'll actually do a video where I show you how to do it. You can Ew, see the no. ripping. Of course, you need a handkerchief handy because it doesn't. It's going to bleed a lot. But uh, this one, we actually took a razor blade to it. You've oh, okay. Me. You've helped me do that. <laughs> anyway, hasta la vista, baby. <laughs>